Welcome to another State With Your Chest podcast. If you woke up on the right side of the dirt this morning, let me get two chest beats and a Ric Flair. Woo! This is going to be a great show because I'm feeling awesome today, man. Like, I don't know what to, t- what to tell you guys. Like, I Why are you the, feeling so good, my brother? I had the honor of meeting... Mr. Ronnie Coleman himself. The yeah. man, the myth, the legend himself. Fire. The legend. But that you know deserves, what? That deserves two chess beats in a Two chess beats again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Let's go. But let's let's introduce ourselves before we get started. It's your boy Chest Out Rudy, aka Haitian Sensation, aka He Man. But just call me Chest Out. <laughs> it's your boy Chest Out Core, aka Commercial Core. Mr. Walking Billboard, chest out. I told y'all I'm keeping it light today. So okay. it's your boy Jay Daniels, aka Mr. Health Mind Body Life, aka Black Buddha. How y'all doing today? Man, okay. man, come on. You gotta pick up pick up the uh enthusiasm. <laughs> That's man. like some light miracle whip or something like that. Oh no, we we gotta have him do it again. Listen, like a DJ do it, bring it back. <laughs> We want it's your boy Jay Daniels, aka we go. Mr. Health Mind Body Life, aka Black Buddha, aka Stop asking me to say my name. <laughs> bang, bang, That's bang, what I'm bang. talking about. That's how it should be from now on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, but yo, I gotta say, this week, I don't know how you guys spent your week, but this week for me was good. Like how how what'd you guys do? My weekend was it's day in and day out. Um, daily operations for chest out um, Project with my daughter. She got an A on the project. She got a report card all A's baby That's what Princess I'm talking about. Chastity. That's, That's what I'm talking about. My week has been up and down I think I mentioned it to y'all earlier I had a family friend pass away from uh, COVID and uh, you know So it's been up and down. Hold on. I got that news and everything. Moment of silence, bro I appreciate that but sorry, yeah. I mean, beyond sorry that, it's been it's been straight. You know, what I'm saying just grinding. Yeah, we definitely gonna pray for you, my brother. I appreciate man, that. I've, I've been off work for like uh, a little over a week, man. It must be good, but uh, there was good reason for that, though. So what happened, my brother? Good just got rude in. Tell me I good. <laughs> boom. Mm. I got a chance to hang out with uh, Ronnie Coleman himself, the king, Mr. Eight Time Olympia, so Eight Time Olympia winner. Like crazy Dude, God. Like and, and and I was talking to you guys like last week about it. Like I was man, I'm I'm a little nervous. Yeah. And I asked you, Rudy, like, why are you so see, nervous? It wasn't because I was meeting him. I I mean it's it's great that I uh, that I was meeting him. It's it's more so was I gonna be able to do the things that he was doing back in the day, like killing like the the leg press two thousand pounds. Killing the squats, almost a thousand pounds. I'm like, dang. Rudy, God, it's almost out, Rudy, man. exactly. You are the Panther Runner, man. <laughs> Rudy, Panther. Rudy, it's like a kid going to a candy store. You in your dom- domain. So how can you go wrong working out with the Greek God oh. himself? How can you go wrong, my brother? I mean, I mean that was you that was, was your before. Pl- That's home court for you. That was before, Dang. but you know, like <clears throat> when uh, when he came into in town, man, um, it was it was different. Like um, I I just felt honored that I was like getting information, the secret stuff yeah. from the man himself. Area fifty one. You know what I'm saying? Can't tell you guys about it. <laughs> Signed a non disclosure, but can you give us a little bit? Something? Uh just a little bit, bro. Okay, okay. Expect something big. That's that's what, something hey. big. Twenty twenty one. But you know what, man? Hey, <laughs> my this dog. Is, this this kind of goes into the topic that we're going into today. Okay. Because like, your journey, you know, crawling before you. Oh go. oh oh. Hey. Hey. Okay. We're, we're gonna get into that. I, I know. We're gonna I get know into what that. It. It's <laughs> like you 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 fulfilled a major goal that you've had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. but it, but it, all the time and discipline it took prior to that to get here. Yeah, like um, I, I'm gonna expound on it uh, yeah. a little bit yeah. later, but yeah, you're you're absolutely right about that. Man. Absolutely right. Just just remember how he felt when he met his um idol, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Crazy. I'm sure I'm sure he felt the same so way. So he was just playing it forward, bro. 
I mean, and, and the thing about it is that he never um, he never got into bodybuilding because he wanted to to be a champion. He got into bodybuilding because he wanted to keep a gym membership because he loved working out that much. Great. No, no. Tell me what happened. He, he um, what was it? He uh, went into uh, this gym and immediately uh, the owners of the gym was like, damn, this guy, this guy can be an Olympia winner. Mm, okay. He can be a champion. So uh, he gave him a free membership, man. And, and there was a time where he was losing a lot. He was losing a lot. Like he, he pretty much came out of nowhere when he won that first, uh, first Olympia. Really? Yeah. He came out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, not not really nowhere, but no one expected him to to win. So he had, so he took baby steps to get to that next baby level. Step. Like he, like certain times he 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 came in twelfth, thirteenth. Mm. Like he he was he uh, wasn't so, even placing. So he wasn't he wasn't uh, on the radar of a lot of the guys. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. but gotcha. Uh, when uh, I, I remember uh, one time he he said it on his, on his uh, uh, documentary on Netflix that he wanted to quit. Mm. But then he thought, he thought to himself, damn, if I quit, I'm going to lose this gym membership. So he was like, he could have been one strike away to success and could have quit. Yep. And we would never know about Ronnie yep. Coleman. Exactly. That's crazy. So that's why you keep going, you keep, keep going. going, you never give up. Keep going. Keep going. Stay on your grind. All right, well, that was, that was my week, man. I, I just had a great, and that's why I'm, I'm feeling so good right now. That, hey, was, man, that was my week. Congratulations to me, man. Congratulations, bro. Real. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But uh, let's talk about what's happening. What's happening? What's, what's still going on? Happening. You, you trying try to be uh, who's that? Marvin Gaye. Yeah, you sound like the old James. I think that's gonna be my new thing. That's way before <laughs> your time. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Hit him again. Is that a? <laughs> is that a shameless plug? You trying to tell us something you can say? Uh oh. Do your thing, bro. And Man, he's and, and he's light skinned too. And he's light skinned. Oh. Smokey Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, for what's happening. And like I told you guys, and this is gonna continue to be a topic I, I think for weeks to come because of this election thing that we're that we're still dealing with right now. Talking about your boy. You know, so we have we have a president <laughs> elect, right? Yes, um, yes, yeah, we Joe have Biden himself. We have a president elect, but why is it that the president uh that's going out is not sharing any information with the president that's supposed to be coming in. Is he is he acting? What was the word? Like a brat. Like a lo, like, like a, brat? a brat. I don't know. Like he's pouting. What, what do you guys think? He's pouting. like people are out there. What do you guys think? I don't know. But um, as far as I know, this hasn't happened before. Like when a president is coming in, the the president that's going out usually sits down over office. I don't know where they meet, but they sit down. And they go over all the intelligence that's going on. Like you have like um, uh, countries out there that that are planning things on us. And if you're not aware of what's going on, that leaves us. It leaves us at a disadvantage. But so, you're not sharing that information. Well, so, show the people the, the photo of him pouting. You okay. Show them the photo. <laughs> okay. Here's the photo right there. <laughs> <laughs> so this information is very imperative. It, it is. It for is for us. For us. It, it's. Yeah, for us, our country. So, so instead of getting that information from you know all the intelligence, the the generals all over, uh, you know the the other armies and navy and all that stuff, he's setting up his own intelligence uh, crew to get that information. But we don't know if it's going to be accurate information because I mean they're not getting it firsthand, obviously, right? So, I mean, but the thing is, bro, like, are you surprised? Are I'm you not really, surprised. Are you genuinely surprised? Like no. we have seen a lot of things that we haven't seen from public officials in the past four years. It's more like what's what's going. What is he going to do? And that's why you need to go to Netflix. And there's something that's called like All American about Donald Trump, and it tells you everything. Donald Trump, he's been like this for years and years. Ever since he was 18, 21 years old, he's been running Fortune 500 companies. I don't think there's anything about Donald Trump that will surprise me. No, I've seen I've seen too much from him that will surprise me. It doesn't matter what it is; it will not surprise it's me. It's comical. At all. I mean, it's been comical for a while. But, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. So that's 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 part of what's going on. Now another thing is, as you some people may know, the rise in COVID case is 
crazy right now. Like we got Florida that's uh, that's been going up um, steadily and by forty percent. So let me get the proper numbers for you. Forty sure. yes, percent. But hold on, hold on. I, Donald Trump, I'm talking to you. Uh oh. I'm talking to Joe Biden. Okay. Joe Biden. This this is what I would do. You ever seen Fresh Prince of Bel Air? <laughs> this is what I need you to do. I need you to watch a couple of episodes. Just the intro. I need you to take Donald Trump, Uncle like Uncle Phil did. Rest, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Uh, rest in peace. And throw the president out the White House. Man. That's how he's yeah, yes, one, yes, hey, one, more one more time, Rudy. Ah. That's like <laughs> great sound effects. Oh man. It's great. Yeah. I mean, got gotta get him out of there. Gotta man. get him out of there, hey. bro. That's 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 just a process. It's time um, for a reset. It, it happened. Move on. Let's go. Take the uh, America to a new uh, new route, new heights, new heights, and safer route, right? It's safer route. Safer. I mean, it's crazy. Can like we say that? Safer again, route. Yes. Yeah. Uh, again, COVID ra um, rates are extremely high right now. Forty percent up in Florida. 40% up in Florida, 114% uh, in the past 14 days in the wow. city of New York. That is wow. crazy. And that this is, is your weekly weather report. And <laughs> this is why, this is why Joe Biden saying he's going to shut everything down for six to eight weeks. So what, okay, so what's your thoughts on that? Like shutting down the I'm country? not excited for it to happen again. I mean, but I understand the, like why? I get it. You know what I mean? Because people are but you go out, Orlando, I think it was last week, last week or the week before that, downtown Orlando, nobody wearing masks. I was working in an event oh, at that's... one of the concerts. Nobody wearing a mask. And well, so that's, just... that's at least probably like 40 COVID cases right there. Well, yeah, and in that in, in the spread. I get it. I get it. I don't I get it. it. I, I don't get, get it. No, no, no. I get it. It is annoying to wear a mask all the time. I understand that side of it. But, but they are for your safety but purposes. But your safety, but like he said, it's for your safety purposes. It's for the next person's safety purposes. If you, why are you upset? If you want to go to a restaurant and the restaurant says, because it's not a political thing. Everybody tries to make this. It's not. Like, oh, it's politics. No, it's not politics. If I own a business and I say, hey, to come in here, you can't bring a gun. Then leave your gun in the car. And go in there if you want their services. If you don't want their services bad enough, then keep your gun on you and go somewhere else. Or if I don't want you to wear a mask, then don't wear a mask. I don't care if you black, green, yellow, or purple. I said that wrong. Okay. Wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the thing is we're so entitled. Like we think that everything revolves around us and it doesn't. Like if I'm a, a store owner, I make the rules. In my store, this is my. If business. I don't want you to come in my store, you're not coming in my store. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it based on color or anything like that. But if I say nope, you're not coming in because I set a rule and you're not following it, it's my store. I, I'm able to do that. But you know, a lot of people are gonna start. A lot of people are gonna start trying to file discrimination acts. I mean, you think if, so? Oh yes. If oh, they yes. want to, if they want to do that, that's fine. But the thing about it is that. You're not doing it based on based on anything like that. You're not doing it based on color, um, sex, or whatever. No, you're it's do, policy you're doing, and procedure. You're doing it based on, and, and it's across the board. Rules as long, and regulations. As long as, as long as it's across the board and everybody has to do it, then I can't get down with somebody trying to, to, to say, oh, discrimination. If, yes. If, bro, look. People are going to say whatever, you, but. You, discrimination and then you got. Foolishness. And then the entitlement, like you said, the entitlement. That yes. entitlement needs mm -hmm. to go away, man. It's, it's silly. It's, it's silly. crazy. This is for your safety, people. But yeah, so that, my friends, is what's happening. What's yeah, happening? Man. Happening. So, going into the topic right now, crawl before you walk. When I say crawl before you walk, what goes through your mind? You got to put the time in. You got to put the grind in. Put the, the put, put the time in the grind. <laughs> time in the grind. Okay, okay. I just, right. I just think. Hold on, hold on. First of all, first he's a singer. Now he's a he's a rap star. Oh I'm man. Man. Just, I mean, man. he's young enough. Man of yeah. they, they, they might they might give him a deal. Hey. They might give him a deal. <laughs> but yeah, might be so, three sixty though. Might be a little three sixty. I hit him. I hit him like. Bet you my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, boy. No, I think you need to stick to your day job. <laughs> see, see, hold on, hold on. See, you had me at first. We, we had everybody fooled. Yeah. 
Yo, I Jordan, some, Jordan, some we had my, everybody fool. Everybody my, thought something flew in my throat. Everybody <laughs> thought. I think you need some of that Ronnie no, Coleman uh, pre workout. Bet you my golly, why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what song that is, brother. Hey, that that is, that is a song. That's like a song. Oh, that's the 70s. Oh, yeah, 70s, yeah. Yeah. By by, uh, no, I, I know stylistic. Yeah, yeah, I'm just okay. I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> wow. But, but yeah, so so you will next episode. <laughs> now, so yeah, it it's crawling before you walk, right? Going back to the bases. Going back to the going bases. back to the bases. Not getting ahead of yourself. Having a plan, having a, and making, working through that plan, making preparation, disciplined along with that plan. Exactly. Oh, but, discipline is key, right? But what 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 um what is it that we said about about this? It's we this generation has the microwave uh, mentality, right? Yep. So they want something and they want it now. Yeah. Right now, right now. But can you blame them? Okay, expound. All right. So we grew up, right? When the internet was in its first stages, mm -hmm. right? Remember dial up? Remember that? Remember yeah, well, the the uh. Yeah, exactly. Remember, remember <laughs> do that one more time, really. Yeah. Sound effects. <laughs> remember when you when you wanted to go get a movie, you had to go to Blockbuster. Yes. Remember when you you had to walk in the store. You had to walk in the store. Remember okay. when you wanted to new. I still, store. I still uh, remember that. That's, that was cool. I, I like doing that. I miss those days. Yeah. I, I had my go, Blockbuster going go into yeah. Blockbuster. Yeah. Yeah. Blockbuster car. looking at all the movies. You're like, oh, that was better than having a library card. Yeah, they give you deals. Awesome, they give you deals on movies. Oh, yeah, I like oh, that. Three for uh, two for three or what? Three for two yeah. or whatever. Now, now remember when you had to go get CDs and everything? In 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 a. Uh, not, not. <laughs> They a dinosaur right now. See, these are dinosaurs. <laughs> and, and you had that room in the back that you couldn't go into. Oh. Or, or you wouldn't let people see you walk <laughs> into. <laughs> no, I couldn't wait to walk in that room. I want to see some, like, I was x rated. I'm like, I'm like, I can't wait to go in that room. It's almost like you couldn't wait till you turn 21 to, to buy your first thing of um, drink or alcohol. Man. I mean, so, I say all that to say, they, this new younger generation, they don't have that they have the advanced technology that we we built that you can stay at home and get that new movie get that new album stream get that new book right all brought to a device your device right in front of you there it is the new computers you don't have to wait you don't have to wait for nothing has everything but a dual processor you don't have to work for nothing has everything but a dual processor it's yeah. your phone yeah. And, and that's that's the mentality that these uh, younger guys have right now, like the microwave mentality. I, exactly. You can't blame them. I, I mean, uh, no. I, I can't. I, actually, I can't. You can't. You can't blame. You can't blame. Them. <laughs> you can't well, because everything is fast. They want to expedite everything. They want everything but, fast. But things, rush, rush. Like diamonds take time to become a diamond, right? Oh, like, you can't. Freak. You can't just pick up a rock or a piece of coal and expect it to be a diamond. It, it took years and a lot of pressure. Sometimes we have to deal with pressure because pressure actually makes us stronger. It yeah. makes us better. Yeah. And, and I can remember, you know, times where I'd be working out or something and uh, people would come up to me and they would ask me simple questions like, how did you get the way that you are? And, and then the thing is, I just like to say this real quick. I'm people. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, I, was, I, I do remember that. I, was I like do remember. 15, 16, walking up to Rudy in the gym. I remember he was doing uh, crunches on the machine. He had on a weird, I thought it was a weird outfit. Uh, it was like a jumpsuit. Hey, what? what, what? <laughs> you had on a jumpsuit? A, a jumpsuit? It was, like, it was like one of those uh, sweat suits or whatever. <laughs> so, 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 I remember, I remember talking to you this day and, I, and, and you, you, you gave me some advice and, you know, Slowly but surely, I've been implementing it and everything. Like and, your, that. and your breath still smell like something like you yeah. still wet behind the ears. <laughs> still wet behind the ears, my brother. But see, right. but see, I'm not referring to people that actually take my advice. Take heed. And, and, and actually, receptive. Yeah, that are receptive to it. Yeah. But when people come up to me and then they ask me, and then I go, I go into how long I've been working out. Facts. Uh, what I do when I'm away from the gym. Yes, sir. Um, and the dedication of how long I actually stay in the gym, uh, my cardio, all that stuff. When I start to go into detail about that stuff, wow. then you can see their head drops. Four wow. hours. Wow. Head drops and then. Four wow. hours. Hey, no, 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 no. Wow. no. Come on, four hours. Well, 
a couple times. Yeah. Maybe a few times. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, had to call like, EMT I, for me. I'm like, Corey, you, let's, let's do a quick workout. Um, a quick workout. <laughs> Rasanda said, you want to work out Rudy? You'll be there for four five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart and his uh, Plastic Cut Boys crew, they, it was, I was on one of the uh, stand-ups, and they say this. They say, everybody wants to be famous, but don't nobody want to put the work in. And facts. That's facts. Nobody wants to get dirty nowadays. That's the you gotta put the work in. Everybody wanna be a bodybuilder, but they want don't wanna uh what's the saying? Everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. <laughs> but they just don't wanna put in the work. Everybody wanna huge. put everybody wanna be a bodybuilder, but they don't wanna pick up these heavy weights. Everybody <laughs> no. oh that's cool. But that's but you know what? But you know what, but but you know what guys, is I it's, it's, it's scary to say. You got it's okay, we talking about football, right? You got Tom Brady. Mr. the goat himself, right? We run into play. I still say Joe Montana's. Aaron Rodgers. No, no, no. But six reigns, bro. Come on, you got to give it nah, to him, gotta, bro. You gotta, Joe you Montana gotta, had a serious injury. But anyways, keep keep going. Go, go ahead. We, we, we can talk about Dan Marino and the rest of them too as well. Running Cunningham. You want to keep going? He, he didn't win no championship. But you, you don't have to win a championship to be the goat. But he got he had like four. I'm talking about Joe Montana. But anyways, keep going. Keep going. Go okay, ahead. okay, go okay. Ahead. okay. Whoever Joe Montana is, <laughs> no disrespect. He, he's he's a goat to himself. Okay, say I'm a wide receiver. He's a cornerback. This is where that race gonna come yes, in effect. Yes, sir. This is where that race gonna come in effect. DB speed, baby. And listen, I want y'all to comment right now down below if you think Rudy will beat me in the 40, 50, or the 100 Pay yard dash. Listen, man. I want y'all to comment right now if you think Rudy can beat me in a race. America, Corey. I heard about this, man. I'm not scared. I I'm, not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Tell him, tell him, Jordan. This man was running from Panthers as a child. <laughs> oh, that's how that that man, the myth, the legend comes about, right? Listen, actually, actually that's it, this, this, it, is, this it, is a true story. It, it, this it, is a true hey, story. It probably was a cat. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it probably that. Hey. It was a, it was a, it was one of them hey. New York alley cats. When I, I thought it, I thought it was too. That's what I said when they were telling me about this. Do I you have like, a picture? It was probably a cat. Do you have a picture? was like, no. Do you have a this picture? This was a panther. Man, it was hey. a New York <laughs> alley cat. I told that to one of the uh, uh, station twelve, and I was telling him that. They're like, oh, what an alley cat? <laughs> yeah, like that. It, it's probably one of those uh, rats from my hometown. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> It's probably, it's probably a big rat. There's a homeless dude. I love my city though. Yeah, Midway. Out, out there in, in uh, Washington Shores that talk about Rudy all the time, man. Oh, yeah? yeah. Tell him. He's Tell him. the corner. He's like, the Panther, man, he coming back. <laughs> shit's out there all the time. Hey, so we and, and I race people in my boots while while working at the fire station. Yeah, so, we have a, so we have a charity event December 12th yeah. next week. No, not next week. In a few weeks. A couple weeks. A couple weeks from now. Me and Rudy are gonna put our shoes on. We're gonna strap up, and we're gonna run either the fifty or the hundred. I'm short distance and long distance. We'll, we'll do. We'll I'm short say, and long. Bro, you gotta say pause. Strap up. I said strap. Hey yo. <laughs> Hey, nowadays you gotta keep them on you nowadays. Oh, no, no, see he over here talking about something. Else. I'm talking about something different. But anyways. Just comment below if you if you think Rudy would win the race or if you think chess.core. So you got chess.core, chess.rudy. We're gonna run a hundred yard dash and I'm gonna beat him. America. Right. America. Be honest. So so what would be honest, so what, America? So, so what would be the bet? Who? So we so 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 we so listen. Hey, you know what? You know what? We we okay, own the we own the company together, right? Hold on, hold on. We own chest out. Yeah, yeah. Let let America decide. I want five extra percentage in the company. <laughs> Let's take that. You want me to take the whole company hey, from Hey, you? let's change our K1. Hey, let's change America, our K1 this year. This, 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 might, this might be a sole proprietorship. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was, a, that, was your, that was your best joke of the year. It actually was. Like, yeah, on. Yeah. Martin, not Lawrence. That was your best joke of the year. But listen, we're going to put up 5% of the company. Five hey, percent. Keep, 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 really? keep, keep, keep your keep your five percent. No, no, no. I, I'm not don't trying to take it. From you. Don't worry about it. Hey. Listen, you gotta secure your livelihood now. I want I'm you to. Try, I want you to, secure, to take it from you. I want you to secure your livelihood, my brother. Hey. So if I beat you out of the bed, I might let you keep it. Let, let's stay on topic. No, man. Oh, he out here racing alley cats. Let, so I'm gonna get, <laughs> when he get back on topic. He raced the alley cat. I, I got a right. feeling that one of y'all is gonna be crawling after y'all run. Oh, oh no! <laughs> hey, don't hey. Ben Gay eat it, my brother. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm I might be crawling after I beat Corey, but 
Not before I run. No, I crawl while we racing <laughs> and beat Rudy. I'll, I'll, I'll go backwards. And You'll beat the bear crawling club? So, <laughs> so let's get back to the topic, right? Back to the topic. So I'm out here playing wide receiver. You got Rudy playing um, cornerback, right? I'm doing a 5 in or 15 slant, whatever you want to call it, right? So I'm going for the play. I'm looking at the, 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 the quarterback trying to, I'm looking at the quarterback trying to catch the ball before I run. What usually happens 90% of the time? Drop the ball. You drop the ball because you don't have your eyes on the prize. So you always got to keep your eyes on the prize. Catch the ball before you run and you got a better chance of scoring and getting the W. Exactly. Facts. Big facts. Big facts. facts. And I've, I've dealt with people all the time. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I was a manager at Vitamin Shop, assistant oh. manager. Assistant? Not, not, not the manager. Oh, hold on, hold on. So you was the yes boy? You couldn't look us up with no protein. Hey, boy. Hey, hey, hey boy. Hey, hey boy. If you, hey, boy. <laughs> if you wanted to stop. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, sweet I'm boy. I'm honest. I'm an honest guy. Okay. Man, people boy, free stuff. So you being a little transparent right now. Okay. I just want 5% off. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the years that I worked at uh, uh, Vitamin Shop, I would get a lot of questions. People, especially young, young people, like. 18, 17, 16, coming up asking me, first thing they want to know about is how do they get big? And the first thing that they point to is we have stuff in a glass case. And that's your like uh, testosterone boost and all this other stuff. But that's what they want. They want that because like I said before, they have the they microwave. Have the microwave mentality. They want it not two weeks from today. Now, they, right now. They don't want it a month from now. They want it today. They wanted, they wanted yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So I try to tell them, you don't need that stuff. Your, your body right now is, is optimal. Like it's optimal. It's operating at its peak. There's, there's, there's nothing you need right now. Your testosterone levels or whatever levels are so high right now. You can, you can do like three sets of whatever and see a big difference because of that. Veins popping. Yeah. You don't need all that. But see, the thing is, and, and I've, tell, I've told people this too, the faster you get something, the less, first of all, the less you appreciate it. That's facts. Because, because you're not going through the journey. Talk about it. But another thing too is that years of working out builds your body differently. Because you can build the aesthetics based on the years that you've been working out. But when somebody goes from point A to Z, in a matter of months or a year or something, they don't have the full muscle uh, maturity because they didn't take the time to work on the little things. So let me ask you guys a question. What does a baby have to do, an infant has to do, before they walk? Usually, I'm assuming the answer you want is crawl. Well, usually, usually, I say usually because I started off running. Here we go. Bam, bam. bam. I was a baby. Bam, bam. <laughs> Do you know anything about the Flintstones? Uh, he's too young for that. <laughs> I know about the Flintstones. You know, you know, black people, we don't know the words or nothing. Well, we, can harmonize, we can harmonize the hell out of it, though. Corey, man, I'm telling you, you don't want to run against this man. Man, man listen, he Rudy don't. is he not don't. ready for chest out Corey, a.k.a. Mr. Walking hey. Billboard hey. himself, brother. Don't let the muscles fool you. Once a DB, always a DB. And see, with me, because, because I crawled before I walked, I was able to still keep all my speed, all my agility, and I'm going to use that when I beat you Rudy, on the 12th. I was the cornerback. I was a safety. Listen, I was a safety. Listen, I was a safety. And if you got away from anybody on the other side of the field, I came and got you. Let's get back on top of no, here. No, no, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was the two back, 22, hey, 24 dive. You ever watch uh, Man Sweet? with Children? You got too many hey, numbers in hey, your hey, hand, man. And you had to come get me. <laughs> hey, Corey, Corey. You had to come get me, bro. You ever watch uh, Married with Children? You're what? Out, out Al? Monday? Al? <laughs> That, that's what you remind me of right now. Oh, no, I, was, I don't sell shoes, baby. I don't, I don't sell shoes, baby. I, I, 
Yeah, remember what he No, I'm not that person. I'm not going to show you a videotape from 1999, 2005. No, because yeah. I do it right now, baby. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Y'all crazy. All right, so, Rudy. Yeah. Crawling before you walk led you to what you just talked about, right? Uh, about your week. And hanging yeah. out with Ronnie Coleman, working out with Ronnie Coleman, getting advice from Ronnie Coleman. That's been a dream of yours for a while now, hasn't it? It's yeah, it's been it's been a dream for a long time. Like yeah. he's the uh he's like the king of bodybuilding, man. Yeah, I remember you mentioning it on H M B L T V episode one. You can go catch that on IGTV. Shameless um, plug. <laughs> yes sir. I love it. Um but but for real, like but you didn't just get you didn't start working out and then all of a sudden you're working out with Ronnie Coleman, right? No. Nah. It it took time. It took it it was probably some stressful days as well, right? Of course. It it took discipline and continuous grind. Well Rudy used to wear uh black uh silk shirts with big jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what does that have to do? <laughs> hey, what does that have to do with crawling before you walk? I see. Because Wait. <laughs> Rudy, Rudy was like 85 pounds, man, with a pair of jeans like a 42 in the waist. Hey, that was the style back in the day. No, sir. There's, there's, a, a, there's a picture no, of this somewhere, ain't it? I got the picture. Yeah. And, I, and, and I'm going to post it. Hey, I'm hey. going to post it. I'm going to post it. America, I just posted that picture. <laughs> Oh. This picture that you're seeing right now, <laughs> you got it. Listen, I did that just so what, we can see my transformation because I didn't go from that you see on the left to that you see on the right overnight. Yeah, it, 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 it didn't happen overnight. So and that's it what it took time. Like, I weighed. No, I didn't weigh no eighty pounds, man. Eight, I weighed. Eight, I weighed, weighed one thirty, one thirty two. <laughs> oh, 132? Oh, 132. Oh, yeah. add, add, add give me two, all my, two, pounds. Add two pounds. Give me all my pounds. Give me all my pounds. Difference. <laughs> hey. I started. I started college at 132. He was 100 pounds soaking wet. 134 if if I'm soaking wet. Okay. You think? <laughs> you, hey, you still got those jeans? I don't know. They're you so probably you probably wear them right now. It was. You probably had a it big. Was still, it would still be too big for me. Right now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and I I had to make the belt so tight, like I was gonna the say sides that. were like <laughs> Oh, when the sides puff up on the side and you got a little air in this on the side of it, the little space. I, I had space all over. So you was crawling was, before was, you was walking. I think it was like, too, huh? Yeah. I think it was like a forty six waist. Or or thirty no uh, yeah. Uh, no, nah, thirty six waist. Well with ten brothers of uh, you pass them down, pass them down, pass them down. <laughs> they hey, went from hey. sock to Joe. <laughs> that's that's, so how it is. Rudy. that's how it is when you have a big family, man. You you get the hand me downs. I'm an extended family. Hey, and that's 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 pretty much it. Like you have to crawl, even 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 in uh, as part of a big family, you crawl before before you can walk. I'm getting hand me downs. I didn't I didn't get I didn't get new clothes until. <laughs> Probably said, hey, so you went to UCL? <laughs> hey, that was probably, probably your first I, pair of Nikes. I promise you, I didn't get new clothes until. How'd you pull up the prom? prom? You pulled up the prom in your brother's suit? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I rented my, my suit. Those? I rented my Listen, suit. those clothes should be legendary. <laughs> Y'all should frame everything <laughs> shoes, socks. Oh, man. We're not gonna talk idea. about underwear. Hmm. You know what, America? <laughs> oh. that, that might be something I'm gonna do. On to the next topic. Yeah, to the next topic. <laughs> We're gonna have to chest out on the web coming too. So, hey. okay. <laughs> hey, be on the lookout for that stuff too. So, yeah, so, uh, Jordan. <clears throat> so, tell me an, an instance where something like that happened to you. Like, w have you ever been in a situation where you've, either you've been asked a question um, and then they took it differently or, or something like that? Um, hmm. Let's see. As far as. The fire department goes right. Okay. Um, I, I actually it was just it was was it this year? It was last year. I precepted a uh, paramedic student. I precepted him, so I was training him. He was still in school. He was learning the ropes and everything like that. And it's I pretty much had to. He wanted to do this, that, and the third, giving this medication, that medication on certain patients, but their severity wasn't wasn't you know. To the point where they needed that, right? You need to start from the basics, right? And and you you know this working in the medical field, like you gotta BLS before you can ALS, right? Mm. So I had to 
just reiterated that to him. So he a lot of times he ended up doing things that he learned in EMT school, right? But we would have to start there. And if it required us to go a little bit more advanced, then that's what we would have to do. You got to crawl before you can walk. I hope that's a good example. That's all I had at the moment. I mean, it, it is a good example for people that know about uh, the medical field. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, good, nobody's good walking job. up to me at the gym. You know what I mean? I mean, I, saw, I know you see that arm. Hey, hey, did, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. When we changed, you, we changed camera views, and you made sure that hey. all the show. You made sure the all hey, the show. You see that hey, cut? Did you do? Hey, uh, I work for that. Did all right? you do uh, push-ups before this? No, nah, man. <laughs> hey, my brother got that muscle shirt on. <laughs> you see what it says too: deadlift or die. Damn. Yeah. I could talk about my crawl before I walk, right? Mm-hmm. I remember growing up in, like I said, um, very impoverished area, um, dealing with low income, two parents um, that had to rob Peter to pay Paul <clears throat> to take care of some bills and stuff like that to make sure that we were taken care of. And my dad made sure he secured our lifestyle. I used to ride my bike without my parents even knowing from one city to the next city, right? So Midway was on the outskirts of Sanford, so I used to ride my bike through the cow pasture about 15 miles without my parents even knowing as long as I got back by dark. But I would drive to like the big houses like Timaquan and Alaqua and Heathrow just to look at the homes. And what I would do, I would look at the homes and say one day I'm going to get one of those. Mm. And so, um, and we talked about 20 some years ago, 30 some years ago. And now I look at the situation, play it forward. Um, I could look at the situation and say, I was a big dreamer, I was a visionary. And once I got my job and I got into my career, I worked my butt off to get to that. Um, I would save 10% of my check every year. I would make great investments like in Facebook, um, Alphabet, Google and stuff like that, and other great investment in real estate. And I was able to get to where I'm at right now, my destination. Yes sir. And it still doesn't stop. And, 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 and I'm still growing, the, and so the I'm, grind never stops. I'm in my dream home, and I can look back on times and say, I'm truly blessed, I'm God-fearing, I'm highly favored, and I just thank God for the transition, because he was able to divert my whole situation and change my whole trajectory. Yeah, so basically, your journey involved all of that. So you can go back and um, remember you riding your bike Miles, and miles, miles, looking at these houses in the rain. And, sometimes and envisioning yourself living in the in these houses every weekend, and, and, and it makes you it makes you appreciate what you have even more yep. because you had to go through that journey. You had to make those sacrifices. You yes. had to like suffer. You had to to deal with a lot of things to, to get you exactly. We talk about grind. Grind. so it had to you know get you to that point because of the work that you put in. Now imagine. I mean, I would still feel good if I walked one the lotto, right, mm -hmm. and was able to buy a house. But it it wouldn't have the same meaning effect, yeah, yep. to me to get rich that way. I get yeah. yeah. I mean, it, please let me win the lotto. That I would love to win. Ninety nine I would love to win the lotto. Ninety nine point nine percent of the people that win um, the lotto wind up going broke. Not me though. Hey, what's up? Yeah, that's that's because they don't know how to man manage it. Yes, they, exactly. it was. They got it so fast, yep. and what do you do? Like you don't, you don't have anything set up. Spend you spend money because you, it's not important. It's not that important to you because you didn't put in the sweat and tears into it. So a lot of times that happens. Like I, I agree with you a hundred percent. Something just I just thought about when you because we were talking about the word grind, right? Mm -hmm. When you see two, let's take two pieces of metal, right? You grind them together. Mm -hmm. It's actually not a a beautiful process, mm -hmm. right? Facts. It, it's actually, it seems, it's kind of hard to look at if you really think about it. It's just like just things just grinding together, mm -hmm. right? It creates heat, right? Mm -hmm. Stress upon the metal, all of these different things, right? I'm real getting real scientific. It can be very annoying. Yeah, it, it, even hearing it. Right? Hearing it, yes. But for whatever specific reason, you know, something can beautiful can come out of that, right? Yes. Right? So... The grind sometimes can be ugly and it's painful. It can be, you know, irritating, stressful. But at the end, the finish line is so much 
so much more worth it than to get it that way than to just be handed something. That's 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 beautiful. And you and you know what the crazy and, and the crazy thing about that, Rudy, remember this. So what I did at the top of this year, after I resigned from my job, retired from my job, like an NBA player, must I say? And I was blessed to do so, and I thank God every day for that, and I count my blessings. So what I did, I ran from my old home, stumping ground, from when my dad built the yard, the grill, and everything else, right? My dad built the basketball goal, full court, and for his kids and stuff to keep us out of trouble. I was able to run from that home 16 miles to my new home just to pay homage to my whole situation, my mom, my dad, and my grind. That's actually pretty beautiful, bro. Um, and I record the whole situation and people actually cheered me on for it. For real. And I just thank God every day for that. I like that. That's that's awesome, man. So keep I mean, grinding. Yeah. yeah. Keep grinding. Uh sometimes you deal with uh pressures and don't 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 succumb to the pressure. Succumb. Great the word. pressures are, is what actually makes us who we are. Um and in the end you'll be a better person for it. Facts. Yeah. Facts. You know. So this was another episode of uh, Say It With Your Chest. Say It With Your Chest, baby. Mumble over here with his arms. I, 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 I'm I, pretty sure you put in, you put on some baby oil too. I'm, just, I'm sitting next to you, so I had to let him know. <laughs> hey, you know, Rudy, and, and, and matter of fact, we had a little um a little break. He actually went in the bathroom. I think he did a couple push-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Look at those Light-skinned people. No push-ups. <laughs> Light-skinned. So, and that, neither one of y'all want to race me. You see how they even try to clean man, and race I, they I, I smoke even, them both. I and, even, and don't even talk about the basketball court like you know ooh, what you're doing on that okay. Don't even talk okay. about it. Okay. Hey, first of all, I didn't, we have another Jordan in, in my station. Isn't he man, like uh, number one? Uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, whatever. Man, I, I digress. Oh, I need to call him. <laughs> anyway, do you have uh, any final thoughts on this? Hey man, no, actually, I'm, I've said everything I gotta say, man. Crawl before you walk. Uh, yeah, Cord. Cord out. So what I'm gonna stop doing? I, I want people to see um, my outset. I want people to see my beginning. I want to see. I want people to see how it all started for me. Cause I do a lot of. I do a lot of posting on social media because I like to motivate people, right? Yeah, I love it. I love it when he does this. So what? What I have to start doing is taking 10 gallons and pouring it into a pint side cup because sometimes it overflows sometimes so, so sometimes i might be giving a little bit too much so i'm gonna start back i'm gonna show you everything how i started from the nitty gritty from the grind um and like i say always take my l's turn my l's into w's because at the end of the day man we all can't be winners and if you can learn from my mistakes man please do so hey Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, can sir. I add another shameless plug before we, we get out? Because uh, Corey just made me think about this. Corey, you, uh, you're doing an episode on Health, Mind, Body, Life TV this Friday talking about the grind, right? Yes, sir. Talking about the journey, right? Yes, sir. All right, y'all going to be able to catch that on IGTV at HMBL underscore TV. It, I mean, if we're going to be doing shameless plug, I, I got to plug, you know, plug in plug the, it. the new mask that we got. I mean, you gotta, oh, you gotta stay safe, right? Black Friday. We have a mask that's coming out, hey. so get that. We got some new shirts that are coming out. Get that. The get link them. will be you in know. the description below. Yeah. Get that. And it's yeah. gonna listen. It's yeah. gonna be something that we haven't done before. It's gonna be a matching set. It's gonna be something very dope. Yes, sir. My take on this is that um, you know. A lot of times we don't appreciate, we don't take our time to actually enjoy the journey. Um, the hardest part um, to get to, to a certain uh, point in your life sometimes is the best part. And we don't take the time to actually enjoy the journey and take, uh, take it all in. And sometimes we're, we're all too eager to get to a certain point and basically just move from point A to point B with that microwave mentality. Take your time, slow things down, work through that process, and you'll be happier and a better person for it. I love it. So this was your episode of Say It With Your Chest. Hey, find out next time on <laughs> Say It With Your Chest podcast. <laughs> Blueprint. All right. Let me get two chest beats and a Ric Flair.